All right. So welcome to the bench. This is what we're tying today. This is a Prince Nymph variant modified. And we're using a size 12 hurdy jig hook. Um claw. And we're gonna be getting that hook in here. So size 12 um claw pretty jig hook with a four millimeter bead in gold. And we're, what I'm tying are basically anchor flies uh, for swift water conditions. So quite a large bead. All right, thread we're using Uni, or sorry, uh, UTC 70 black. And for the tail material, we're using Montana Fly Company, Company, their little creature legs, and this is a golden brown. And then a little bit of white flexi floss for the wings. And some small gold ultra wire. I might actually have a piece in my bench here. Is that extra small or small? That one. Cool. All right. Okay. Sometimes you get lucky. Found a little extra piece of gold wire on my tying bench. Well, ah, in my little extra wire spot. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna tie in our wire first. I'm gonna tie it in on the near side of the hook, or on my side of the hook here. Or if you're tying it, it'll be on your side of the hook. My line frayed, you're gonna twist it there, and give it a little re-securing. Come back all the way up to the bead again. All right, now I'm gonna get my leg, my tail material tied in. I'm gonna make sure I have enough. Now I'm gonna secure it back into that bead a little bit. Or it's just flat on there, not trapping both yet. Now I'm gonna fold it over, get one or two wraps, and then I'm gonna grab both of them. I'm gonna pull them, you know, Firmly, but not super tight. We're just going to loosely wrap back to the in here. Once you got that a couple extra wraps, then just kind of cover everything up. Doesn't have to be real good, just a little bit. That bead secured in there. Okay, we're like that. All right. Nope. Okay. There. Okay. Now for our body, just like a traditional Prince Nymph, we're going to be using peacock curls. And I've just got a nice eye. Um, and I'm going to work until I get to the blue. Save those blue pieces for something else. All right. Make sure you get some nice fluffy ones. I'm getting close to the eye. They're starting to get less fluffy, but that's okay. Those two should work. Cut off your butt ends. And what I do is I grab the thick end and then I'll pull it. Oh, see? That one broke, so I don't want that one. Uh, these are looking a little weak. Okay. It's always good to test your peacock. All right. I got some down to where it's not going to break. And I'm just going to secure that in behind the bead there, loosening, loosely wrapping until I get to the end. Just get a couple extra end wraps there. Okay. 
we're actually going to leave him, the bob. We're going to leave the thread at the end here, and you will see. And instead of going clockwise like you would be tying, we're going to go counterclockwise or away from yourself on the hurl wraps. We're just going to get nice, nice wraps in here. Nice little body built up there, tight to the bead. I'm going to switch my hand here for a second. This is just kind of a really good way to secure those peacock hurls, which are notoriously brittle. <clears throat> this is like an extra layer of security here. We're going to be not wanting to get that piece in there. Getting that around now. Pull tight. Let go of the hurl there. Give it a couple wraps on either side there. Now you can pull, but honestly, I've had a lot of bad luck with pulling these off and ended up breaking it. <laughs> I have to start over. So I just cut it. All right. And I'll make sure my peacock's looking good, fluffy. Okay, I'm going to cut these so how i cut these tails is i'll just fold them forward and i just kind of loosely you know you don't want to be pulling them tight so just loosely kind of fold them back onto itself and then i'll just cut it like just a little bit past that bead so there's our bead or you can even you know pull it down to where the the hook is but i like to leave it like that let them stick out and then i just kind of bring my just kind of cut about that boom so just, you know, maybe a, uh, a hook eye gap past, something like that. It's just, just, just a little bit past the bead when you fold it over for the tails. That's how I do it to keep it consistent. Now, since we wrapped the, um, the peacock curl counterclockwise, we're going to wrap our wire clockwise instead of counterclockwise since this way it'll keep everything nicely secured and kind of try and follow the line that you made with your um yep uh, thread there can't think of words words are hard okay i'm gonna get here I'm gonna pull this guy back around onto itself i can get that piece out of there give it a 90 still holding pressure but not too much on this because you don't want to unravel it and then just helicopter off done deal that little piece of trash now let's set my leg aside here all right so now what i'm going to do which is slightly different from the original instead of using hackle i'm going to be using a ice dub dubbing loop so once you get your dubbing loop made and secured and you want a couple turn whip finish there I always like to just kind of try and make sure that that's nice and tight okay now we're gonna secure our bobbin okay and what I'm using is chocolate brown, chocolate brown ice dub from a uh, hairline. And so all you need is, I just grab a little pinch and it should be about enough. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all into a kind of a little thing like that. I'm gonna find the middle point. I'm gonna set it on my bench. This is kind of pain, it can blow up on you. And just cut it in half and then just grab that other half with the hand that already has the half in it so you make a nice little bundle like that and i just take the bundle and i just stick it in there like that now i've got like a little moustache now i'm just gonna work on separating that out you don't need a whole ton of fibers for this part of the fly or just something like that I'm going to get it nicely twisted here. And once I get it to a pretty good twist, I just give the string some flicks. 
and it seems to do a pretty good job getting all some of those fibers out. You can kind of just touch it with your finger. Don't pull them because they'll come right out. Now we're going to twist them up again since we got all those fibers kind of straight, you know, you can kind of see how now they're nicely kind of straight sticking off of that and sparse. Sparse is key. Twist it up. We don't want to twist too much because you don't want it to break on you. I'm gonna, I did a little over twist on that. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to counterclockwise wind and then once we get it to where we're up top here we're gonna train everything back and just like that that's it one more wrap okay and you can kind of play around with this too and you can do less or more of the ice dub different colors of ice dub I just really like this chocolate brown for this you know I'm trying to make a prince nymph like fly right and then prince nymphs tend to they can blow apart pretty easy the biots can fall off pretty easy they can get bit off they, you'll end up with a one biotted one tailed prince nymph after a couple of fish um and then also i cut all the top fibers off so they're not sticking straight up anymore just we'll take care of all that excess we're gonna just kind of work that all right, now we're gonna throw our wings. And again, these can be longer than they need to be to start. Get it fairly close. You don't have to cut one. But we'll just get it that close for now. Now, this I see my angle that I like, and then I pull tight, and I just get one, two. Come around back, one, two, I'm gonna go one more. Now I'm gonna fold this guy over. So when you're like that, you'll fold it over and it'll make a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Kind of leave that loose and just try and capture that, just the corner of that 45. So something like that. And there's gonna be a little bit of white bulge from where you pinched it that's fine just wrap it tight and I do one wrap underneath this longer piece so I can get in between it just to give it a nice security wrap there maybe one more of those and then lock it in on the top okay now that we're here try and get some love going on there We've lost our one. All right. Get your adjustment where you like it. Okay. Now we're going to hit it with a little bit of high tack wax. We don't need much. And now I'm going to go to the Ice Dub and Peacock, Black Peacock. Just a little bit at a time here. We're going to make a little noodle. That's probably plenty right there. More than I need. Put that back there for now. No, I'm just going to kind of clean up this head here. There we go. Now we're going to whip finish. Okay, so we're gonna kind of clean up that. Let's get our little wings cut right here. Okay, so these ones, I want these. Just take both the wings here and pull the tails down so you don't cut them on accident. I just like to cut my tail, my wings, so that they're I kind of rest my, take my scissors and I rest on the 
the bend of the hook there and I try to only get the two that I want yep. and then just like that and that's how I get it my little wings not wanting to cooperate there we go now what I do is I'll take the pinch all that excess length and just start kind of peeling these little ones. This chocolate ice dub is not super strong, so very similar to how you would do a CDC. Just pop it off, it just pulls it nice and it kind of leaves it not super straight, gives it a little bit of bugginess. Now, you know, I just brush everything with my fingers with this. You don't need to really use a brush on this stuff. It's so easy to manipulate. Now, there you go. This is a super buggy, super attractor pattern. Uh, take on a classic Prince Nymph that works fantastic uh, in its own right. And this is just basically a bulletproof Prince Nymph. You can drag it over the rocks, it can get eaten a bunch of times, and you'll fish this fly all day long until you lose it. So, if you like this, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have any questions, hit the comments. I'll respond as fast as I can. And good fishing. Thanks for watching.